Now the Kink Whip is a bike that I speak very, very, very highly of. This is arguably the best BMX bike that you can buy with $500. This is a good choice for a lot of people returning back into the sport and a lot of people who are getting into it for the first time. You're probably wondering if the Kink Whip is a good choice for you and that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. Hey guys, my name is Douglas. I run Dougsterbob.com and this wonderful YouTube channel. I make helpful BMX content so that you don't have to try so hard to figure out which bike is right for you. There's a lot of information out there, but few channels have great information. And speaking of great information, there's a lot of free content and tools for you to use to find the perfect bike and just to get more education about BMX. All that's in the description. So let's talk about the Kink Whip. All the information in this review is based off the Dugster Bob app. This app has over 80 different bikes and a really complex scoring system to rank bikes in quality, value, park, street, dirt, everything. There's way more information than you'll ever need to know about any bike inside of this app. It's available on Google Play and the App Store. So get that app if you're really trying to do a lot of research on your BMX bike and figure out which one's right for you. Because of this app and because of this complex scoring system, I'm able to do a really quality comprehensive review on the Kink Whip. The Kink Whip comes in two different color options. You're gonna need to choose between Gloss Black Fade or Gloss Sage Gray. Both of these options are pretty solid it, but each color option is connected to a top tube size. The gloss black fade is connected to the 20.5 inch top tube option while the gloss sage gray is connected to the 21 inch XL kink whip version. Speaking of top tube sizes, the 20.5 inch option is best for riders who are 5 foot 6 to 5 foot 9 while the XL version is good for basically anybody over six foot. There is a weight limit that I associate with this bike and I'll talk about that in just a minute. One of the downfalls of this amazing value BMX bike is the 20.7 pound weight. That's a lot. That's one of the heaviest bikes in Kink's line and it doesn't come with any pegs, it doesn't come with a sprocket with a bash guard. It's just a heavy bike. There's a lot of components on there that add extra weight to make this bike heavier than the Kink Gap, the Kink Switch, the Kink Williams. However, saving weight is definitely possible when purchasing upgrades. I have some different YouTube videos about that if you wanna learn more about how you can make your bike lighter by upgrading the parts. In my opinion, one of the most impressive things about the Kink Whip is the 6.9 quality score. Nice. But what this 6.9 quality score means is that the frame, forks, and handlebars are made from full chromoly. Chromoly is gonna withstand drops, gaps, spins, any kind of abuse a lot more than high tensile steel. This is the first full chromoly BMX bike in Kink's line, and honestly, brand new riders don't need full chromoly, but they're gonna progress to a level where they would be glad that they did have full chromoly. So a lot of people who fill out my free bike recommendation get the whip recommended to them, even if they're brand new because I'd rather see them spend just a little bit more money and get this strong foundation for an upgradable bike. When you have a full Kermali frame, forks, and bars, it's really easy to add other aftermarket parts to make this bike a fully custom bike tailored to your specific needs. Along with the full Kermali parts, the Kink Whip has both double wall rims, front and rear. This sets it aside from similar $500 options like the Colt Control, which only comes with one double wall rim. It's also fully sealed. Now, keep in mind, all of the parts on here, while being strong full Kermali, they're not aftermarket. If you look on Dan's comp, you'll see the aftermarket parts cost a lot. You can find frames that cost $450, which is almost the cost of this complete bike. Aftermarket parts cost a lot more because there's a lot more love and attention paid into the manufacturing process. They also use finer, higher quality materials when they're putting these bikes and when they're putting these parts together if they're made from aftermarket parts. Now that's basically what that's saying is that that's why the Kink Whip didn't score a 10, but it still scored a seven, which for a new rider is more quality than they're gonna tend to need. Because of this quality, I set the weight limit of the Kink Whip at about 190 pounds. Now a rider who's around 210, 200, this bike would still be fine, but if you're much higher than that, you will wanna go with the aftermarket parts, builds like the Sunday Dark Wave, the Sunday Sound Wave, or the We The People Envy, because these parts are just gonna be a lot stronger and they're gonna withstand the extra weight that you put on the bike. Now there are three other bikes that score 
are very similar in quality to the Kink Whip. And I think it's important for you to check the reviews out of those three bikes before you make your purchase, just so that you can see all of the options. Those three bikes are the We The People Crisis, the Kink Switch, and Colt's Devotion. Those three bikes all scored a 6.9 or a 6.8 in quality. Because of the $500 price tag and the 6.9 quality score, this bike scores a 10 in value. This is the only BMX bike on in the Dugster Bob app to score a 10 in value, and it really sets the standard for all other bikes to follow. No other bike has the same low price with the same high quality score. There are bikes that are close, like I talked about the Colt Devotion and uh, the Kink Switch, but they all cost more than this bike, making their value score quite a bit lower. Because of the 10 value score, you can be assured that this is the absolute best BMX bike you can buy with your $500 budget. Now I use the app to try and find bikes that are similarly priced, but better quality. And while this is the 10 value score bike, there is nothing that came up. However, the Colt Control is very close. The Colt Control is the same price tag with full Kamali frame forks and bars. The only difference here is the Colt Control has one single wall rim in the front and a double wall rim in the back, bumping the quality score down just a little bit. The Kink Whip is for someone who has value at the top of their mind. This isn't someone who has money coming out of their ears, but it's also not for somebody who's really struggling to get by. If you just want a high quality BMX bike and you don't want to spend a crazy amount of money, you just want to get the best value bike you can, that's who this bike is for. Since it comes in the 20.5 and the 21 inch top tube option, it can be from anyone who's five foot six to five foot nine or anyone taller than six foot, depending on the version you get. The person who gets this bike doesn't necessarily have to be brand new to the sport, but I would suggest that they're riding at about a mid-level. If you're riding any higher than a mid-level, you're going to put some extra abuse on this bike and tend to break it. The Kink Whip is best when ridden on dirt and on pump tracks. It's going to have a longer geometry that's going to make it feel more stable and more controlled when riding these things at higher speeds. You can ride park on it, but the geometry again is so big, it's not very technical and it's not very responsive. If it came with pegs, it would be a pretty good street specific bike, but without pegs, without a free coaster and without a bash guard, this bike is not very street specific out of the box and will perform best when riding dirt and pump tracks. The Kink Whip is a full Kamali bike with double wall rims. And while I want to tell you this bike will last forever, the reality is it probably will not, depending on your progression and depending on your weight. All BMX bikes have a certain life cycle and parts do break over time. The way that it goes is that high tensile steel parts are the lowest quality and the most likely to break. Full Kamali bumps it up a little bit with higher quality and more longevity. But then the aftermarket Kamali is where things really get exciting and parts really last a long time. This bike up here on the wall is fully custom, fully aftermarket parts, and it's lasted me over three years. I think the only thing I've broke is cranks, forks, and my wheels, <laughs> but that's all, you know, so aftermarket parts will last a lot longer than the full Kamali on the Kink Whip. Again, it depends on how hard you're riding, how serious you are about the sport, and how quickly you progress out of that mid-level threshold. If you're riding within the mid-level, you're doing mid-level tricks, this bike is gonna be a perfect fit for you, and it's gonna last until you progress to a high level. Now, you guys know the Kink Whip is my favorite BMX bike, and I would recommend it to just about anyone. If you have a crazy high High budget and you just want to get the best quality BMX bike, that's going to be a lot different than the best value BMX bike. In my opinion, this is the best value BMX bike. If you only had $500 to spend on a bike, you'd be silly to buy any other bike because essentially you're going to be overpaying for the quality if you get something other than the Kink Whip. If the Kink Whip sounds like the perfect bike for you, I want you to click the link up in the screen here. It's going to take you to my favorite, most trusted BMX shop where they have the Kink Whip in stock. You can pick one up and help the channel out just a little bit. If you're still looking and you're like, well, you know, this might be right, but I want Douglas to recommend a bike for me. The free bike recommendation form is in the description. All you have to do is put in your information, your budget, your height, your skill level, things like that. I'll look over all that info and I'll send you a PDF with three bikes that are perfect for you. And maybe the kink whip will be on there, but maybe not. Maybe you're not the right size. You know, there's a lot of things that go into it. So I want you to fill that out if you're still unsure about which bike is right for you. I know you guys enjoyed that review, so smash the like button and have a great rest of your day.